We are back at Riv's Classic Car Toy Box, and today is Mopar Day. We have in front of us a really good example, a clean, super awesome example of a 73 340 Cuda with a factory pistol grip four speed. So when we're talking affordable e-bodies, which is what this platform is, you're looking at it. We have Rally Hood, FE5 Rally Red, black vinyl roof, black stripes. This car is just cool. So 1973 total production of Cudas is 9,305. This one specifically being it's a four speed is one of 2007. Numbers matching, so what numbers matching means if you followed some of the other videos is the VIN number on the block matches the VIN number here and same thing on the transmission. There's a flat area on the transmission that has the last seven digits of the VIN on that as well. So this is a numbers matching car. So again, we'll pop the hood. You can have a look in 1973 and 74, um, actually 73 is the last year of the 340. If you were to get a CUDA in 1974, you're looking at a 360, which yes, it's a bigger uh, cubic inch displacement, um, but the 340 was, it's, you know, was the test mule, was the tried and true powerful small block since 1968. So anyway, we're gonna crack this open. So 73 uh, is, an, is a blue block. Corporate blue is the color that's on the 340. So many of them you see are orange, Chrysler orange. Well, they are uh, an older model. 72, I believe, is when they changed the color. Okay, so now they're corporate blue, and then the 360s were corporate blue. So we have the fender tag intact, so it gives us all of our option codes that we have here on this car. There's obviously some minor upgrades over the last little bit, and again, nothing crazy spark plug wires, air cleaner, valve covers, all minor stuff. This is still a, a tried and true 340 CUDA. So again, super awesome. Really neat under the hood, power brakes, power steering, uh, eight and three quarter differential. I don't know what the gear ratio is. I don't know if that's stamped on this one. It's a little faint, it's a little bit hard to see. So this one has a uh, rally hood, so this car at some point the vinyl roof has been added again not that it matters i think it looks better with the black with the black roof but it's fe5 fe5 so canadian car stamp c's which is again is awesome buckets council four speed uh chrome tip exhaust 26 inch rad which all seems to check out we have three speed wipers magnum 500 or road wheels as they call it um, again, uh, I think spoiler, it has the pedestal mount spoiler on the back. So 73, 74, very, very similar in body styles, even 70 to 74 when you look at the, the side profile of the car. The major differences here are in the back tail panel and, and in the grill. Um, if we're going to split hair, 71, yes, Cudas have gills uh, in the front fenders, but again, I'm not looking for any arguments here. But in the back, and front we have deafness. We have the, the bullseye or the, the round tail lights, reverse lights. And if we look, when we have an N42 option, which is what this car is, so N42 is dual exhaust with chrome tips. These are specific 70 to 74 CUDA only. They have these uh, rectangular slash cut or, or angle cut right through the rear valence. So a Challenger would be the cousin car to this in the Dodge version, and it has similar, but the tips are different. So again, very subtle differences, but this is specific uh, specific for CUDAs. And you could order it with a N41, which was dual exhaust with no chrome tips, and you would have no cutouts in the rear valence, and you would have turn downs on the exhaust pipe, and it would just blow the exhaust downward. So this one has been optioned with the N41, and it does. I mean, it looks, looks good and sounds better, again, in my opinion, but uh, yeah. So that's the N40, N42 option. We'll get the we'll get the door, and this is where all the magic I think is. The Chevy guys that are watching, if you're watching, and the Ford guys that are watching, if you're watching, I'm going on record right now. That is the coolest and best feeling shifter on the face of the planet. 
And if you've never driven or held a pistol grip shifter, you can't comment on it. I've driven quite a few different vehicles, makes and models. I am sticking to that one where the pistol grip is pretty cool. Um, this is obviously E-body, so they're the shortest ones. Um, if we were to look at the Charger over there, if it had a four-speed with a council, 1970 is the biggest year uh, for the shifter. It's huge. It's, I don't know, tip to tail. It's got to be something like that. We call it the dog leg because it comes out, over, and up. It literally looks like a dog leg. So, yeah, Buckets Council. Uh, this is a non-rally cluster car. So, again, it was optioned or ordered without the rally cluster. So, that means it doesn't have a tachometer in it. It's a single round circle. Uh, we'll get the door on the other side. And it would just have the speedometer on it. Uh, this one here. Dual chrome mirrors, which also option left is standard. Just again, when we're talking, when we're talking Mopars here, and again affordable. When we're talking seventy Cudas and seventy one Cudas, the price is extreme as as to what they command for money. It's it's borderline ridiculous, but that is just what the market's at right now. And and seventy one Cudas have been the top you know they're up there with 68 69 and 70 chargers like they're just they're not unobtainable but you're going to open up your uh you're going to open up your purse or your wallet to get one for sure but they're out there they are out there so yeah come down the ribs classic car toy box and come check these cars out they're uh again not everything's for sale but they're definitely here for for the public viewing see rick and yvonne and yeah and, and i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe like, comment, tell all your friends, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.